Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Shaw with Colorado State University Extension and I'm here today to talk about STEM Power Kits and the specific lessons that we have developed to help you present fun and engaging science to your students. The, the second set of experiments is looking at what do living organisms need to survive. And so we have plants and you can run your experiments on plants that need water versus plants how much water they need. So we have measuring cups to measure out the specific amount of water required for the plant to survive and thrive. And at the end of this they collect their data, they can then graph their data to find out what amount of water is most appropriate for these plants. Uh, there's enough of these that uh, you can have each of your students doing several ex seed experiments on germinating and growing them. They, we put them in these uh, compost cups so that you can actually plant them and continue growing your plants if you want to continue your experiments uh, throughout the spring, I guess. We're starting to have your students develop this as a science experiment. So we put in the plastic uh, plant tags if you use pencil, you can erase it for each set of experiments when you're done with one set and go on to the next set. Uh, so you can determine like um, the amount of water, say this is no water, so it would be a zero. Um, quarter cup of water once a week, quarter cup of water twice a week, so you can put one quarter times one, one quarter times two, or something that everybody agrees would be a good way to identify how you're going to set up this experiment to find out do plants need water and by looking at if plants need water then we're extrapolating that this is a living organism and therefore this living organism needs water. The kit comes with seeds. You're more than welcome to use all, a variety of plants and continue this experiment throughout the year. Um, one of the things about science is once we learn how to do something then we can use that information and set up additional experiments. So it's going deep is a really good thing in science um, and spending time. If your kids get really excited about one aspect of it, go with it because that's really important. And then you can take that and the other parts of the, uh, the standard that you need to meet. Then you say, remember in this standard, we did this. It's the same thing here. We need to do this. And that helps them to start to tie science together as this continuous information rather than the discrete segments of this experiment, this experiment, this experiment. We're looking at the knowledge gained instead. I hope that you had fun with these STEM power kits. I hope your students had a blast learning more about science and best of all, I hope those underlying concepts that the standards address have been easily met.